say yellow. That's a relative minimum in Eastern Caribbean sector. I want people to realize that hurricanes pose multiple hazards. We often tend to focus on the wind, and everybody often thinks first about what can I do to protect myself, my house, or what actions can I take to protect myself from the wind, and that's certainly critical. You have to have the proper window coverings for your home, and you're going to want to take shelter in a well-constructed home that has the proper window coverings, but you also have to think about whether or not the place you're going to stay during a hurricane is vulnerable to flooding from multiple sources. Complacency is a big, big problem. Consider the fact that the United States coastline has not experienced the landfall of a major hurricane that's Category 3 or stronger on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale since 2005, Hurricane Wilma. So we are pushing seven years since that has happened. Certainly we've had major impacts from storms like Irene and Ike and Lee, but there are many places, not only have they not received a significant hurricane in the last seven years, they haven't received one in the last 70 years or more. So many people and structures in hurricane prone areas have never experienced a significant hurricane. That is a good thing in one regard, that the hurricanes don't visit very often in any one place, but there is an insidious evil to that in that people think, well, it hasn't happened to me in a long time, I figure I'm good. And we can't have that mindset. We have to be of the mindset that one of these days, my number is going to come up. I'm still very scared of hurricanes. I have a very healthy respect for what they can do, and I try to channel that fear into preparedness and action. That's what I hope everybody will do. If they, if they think about a hurricane impacting them and they start to feel fear, channel that energy right away into preparedness activities, tangible things that you can do, because that's what I've done living in hurricane-prone areas nearly all of my life. From an emotional uh, human viewpoint, it's very scary to go through a hurricane. I went through Hurricane Alicia in 1983, one of the scariest nights of my life, even though I didn't experience the worst part of the hurricane. I got tropical storm force winds in my house, but it was still this howling noise in the middle of the night 